This week I was contacted by yet another teacher who gave up a life in industry, a career in industry, to take up teaching, and she's been told just this week that there's no permanent contract available for her, despite meeting all the criteria. The Minister talked about the new modelling mechanism that she's looking at, but we've had mechanisms for years. What I don't understand is why we've got it so out of kilter between the supply and demand. Can Cabinet the Secretary. Explain why that's Cabinet happened? Secretary. I thank the member for his question. I'm not aware of which local authority he alludes to. I think one of the challenges here, though, are that we have 32 different approaches to teacher recruitment across the country with varying approaches to how probationers enter the system. I know that from past experience. I know the local authority that both he and I represent have a generic approach to teaching interviews, and sometimes that can be challenging for people wanting to enter the profession, particularly in Fife, in the middle of the academic year as we currently are. I'm more than happy to look at the specifics in his case. Of course, it is a matter that local authority employ our teachers directly. That is why we have ring-fenced that additional £145 million pounds to help protect teacher numbers. I think that's hugely important. It's a sign of investment from this government. But ultimately, our local authorities employ our teachers, so I will continue to work with them through the workforce plan that I talked to to help improve the situation.